everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here we have the merch company, otherwise known as Niji Sanji, forgetting to remove Boniver Fernaja and Utako from their, uh, their full profiles or collections. This one is empty, of course, because he's graduated, but Utako's is not. So Utako, you can still buy their merch according to this, which uh, some of them are sold out, some of them are not. They are graduated uh, members. This is very rare, very weird for an organization to be this, well, lax and this um, disorganized that they are going to be allowing merch like this to happen. Uh, situations where merch like this does happen is very, like I said, very rare among any indie or large, medium, small, large corporation. Usually, these are the things you get rid of when you graduate somebody or when someone's going to be graduating. They usually give you some heads up. So when this happens, you're going to usually get rid of their merch before that happens. But in this case, nope, that's not going to happen because Nidhi Sanji is the merch company that wants to keep on milking their talents. This is not good. This doesn't look good because no one else does it. They didn't. It's in their contracts that Nidhi can keep profiting off their images even after they leave. Uh, skirting pretty close to the line of Brave Group's past controversy of trying to profiteer off model of ex-employees. Uh, quite intriguing that it sounds like Japanese fans were more concerned about people behind the avatar back then than now. Uh, but yeah, it pretty much looks like uh, since they're still Nidhi Sanji IP, it's a scummy thing to do. But I mean, technically, legally, they can. But it's super scummy to do that. No company does that. Hollow Life could do that anytime they want. They could do that with uh, Kiryu Koko and a lot of, you know, Mano Alo when she was still popular. All those people. But they decided not to out of respect for just regular way things are going. It's probably not out of respect for the talent, but out of respect for the regular usual ethical things that go on. Now, this is a W for Ike and a W for uh, Nidhi Sanji. I'm really honestly surprised that they could do a, you know, collab like this. Miku, Hatsune Miku, Vocaloid Hatsune Miku, the, the, the Hatsune Miku known around the world for her music, Hatsune Miku, and Ike music collab for the 3D debut. They did this a brand new chapter for one of the songs. While I'm not a big fan of Ike, just put a smile on my face seeing him interacting with Miku. A tweet I saw I mentioned him talking about liking Miku, so this is a, Miku, so this is a pleasant surprise. But then I'm remembering how Pomo had a clear liking of Metal Gear and it was denied. So yeah, there's favoritism. There's there's a little bit of bittersweetness here. But I mean, it's still a win for the for the liver. It's still a win for uh, Nidhi Sanji to do this. But it's a win for Ike that he's actually able to collab with uh, Vocaloid's um, Hatsune Miku and is able to have, you know, a song with her and you know this is like a, a, a fan's dream come true like if i got to do that that'd be freaking amazing because i'm also a fan of hatsune miku so this is just a win for ike of course it's bittersweet because you had pomo who also wanted to have collabs like this and you know with metal gear solid and things like that nothing happened uh i'm pretty sure there are tons of other ones that were like uh if i remember correctly there was one where Selene wanted to do Sanrio, Selene wanted to do a bunch of other collabs, and they were all given to Illyra or someone else. She's the one who brought in the collabs a lot of times. Height wanted to do a collab with Selene, and instead they gave it to others, which was proven when Selene left, because Height left immediately after that. Like once Selene was terminated, Height just terminated their contract with Nidhi Sanji, showing you that they wanted to be in there because of Selene, not because of anything else. But of course, this is amazing for anybody that is a fan of Hatsune Miku, 3D, it's amazing. It's just great. I, I will give them the win here. Uh, of course, you know, it is favoritism, but I'm happy for him because I know he's a big fan of Miku. I guess I have her just have to ask, probably pay a lot. Nidhi's reputation in Japan is, is still good enough that I see Krypton accepting a deal. And I guess Ike's wallet was well enough since Didi Sadi's paying for this is highly unlikely. Still, like I said, a win is a win. A win, a personal win for Ike is still a positive thing, even though it is marred by so many negatives that happened around this time. Another bit of a debate uh, with uh, Nidhi Sandy's anime expo disaster. Now we have the, the normies or, or Asmongold and other people like that going and actually talking about it, you know, doing things about it and just, you know, Sanji? mentioning things. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's because it's, it's this one. Yeah, I remember this guy. Yeah, I, I remember this guy. He he did make his I uh, a whole big Yeah, thing. I heard about this shit. So I saw photos of this but I didn't want to believe that it was real. Nija Sanji is a, it's a VTuber org. And- Yep. All right, he explains the VTuber org. That's not good. <laughs> That's not good. He's going over a couple of things. That's yes. way too many seats. I, 
Well, no, no, it's not. You have to keep in mind, like that, like me saying that I think that the concerts are ridiculous. I am the old man yelling at a cloud. Okay. Yeah, pretty much. Well, actually, to be fair, it basically is a cloud. And uh, a lot of other people like this. And these are really popular. Hollow Live, always 100% fully booked. Exactly, yes. yes if Hollow Live did it, this wouldn't happen. As you can no. see, any season. If Hollow Live did that, we all know every single Hollow Live concert so far, even the ones that they're going to be doing for their world tour, sold out within minutes. And this is the thing that happened here. And, you know, they're going over, you know, Nidhi Sanji and Official, uh, that they're going to be getting rid of Summer Jam. That full refunds for the concert tickets will be processed. I bet they the details will. regarding the refund process will be announced soon on our official X accounts. But people who bought a ticket for it, we're going to get a mini live concert footage, whatever that means. So understandably, right, the first reaction for a lot of people was absolute and utter disappointment, right? You had people like this person here saying, somebody says in chat, don't most VTubers not watch anime? They're, they're, they're women that just do it so guys could donate money to them. Well, that kind of worked. That, that's, that's, that's a, I think that's not the norm, but there are people that are like that. I'll just say that it's not the norm that people just go in to get money, but uh, there are people that see a trend and they, they grow on it because as a VTuber, you have to go on trends. Now, I'm not going to go too far into this because that would just be, you know, rewatching all of Gold stuff. I want to kind of go more into the conversation here. But the NDF don't understand is that even if people outside of the VTuber space, standing a company that attacks the reputation of its VTubers after they attempted blank and after them firing them is insane. Standing a company that pulls that S just because they are entertained by some streamers is insane. Asmongold is quite familiar with VTubers. He's part of Mythic, who gathers some big names in indie VTubing, like Shy Lily, Neurosama, and a finished Hollow Cure, leaving him able to recognize a fair share of Hollow Mems. So nothing surprising he reacted to that video. If I remember correctly, he also has a VTuber stepdaughter. It is not just part of Mythic, he started Mythic. In a weird sense, he's Shadow Yago of Indie VTubing. I know Pippa's in there, just fangirling and not part of Mythic, of course. Uh, comparison to Blizzard, oof. Yeah, they did comparison to Blizzard. They did all that kind of stuff. It's interesting to take a look at that. That's why I have you guys see this. This is a post about something that happened in the past between Magni Desmond and Kyo Kaneko, Battle of the Clickbait. Uh, thank you, Squizzle, Squizzle O's for the art. Squizzle O's. And uh, people are saying, you know, it's sad because, you know, it's it's memories of a better time. Um, but yeah, they're both back in their own uh, PLs. And their PLs are actually, you know, talking to each other. And I'm not going to go into the actual... Um, you already know who Kyo is. Kyo is Queen Binet. Uh, Many already know who Magni is. And if you look at both of their uh, Twitters, you can take a look and see that they are interacting with each other. As I said, a little bit, you know, protecting their actual faces because I believe Professor Lando actually shows their face. I want to protect their faces here. I don't want to actually show... Um, you know, connect a face to an old uh, life, an old life in the VTuber industry, even though I have said the name because the name is right here in the open. Uh, I just want to not overstep that bound. Remember years long effort it took for Hollow EN and EGN collabs to finally happen. Now after February, after Pomu left, those collabs have dwindled. I can only recall Reimu interacting with Hollow EN nowadays or Melico interacting with them on Rust. There are a few big collabs between Hollow Stars and EN and Niji Sanji. Uh, there were collabs post February. Altair and Shu were playing Valorant together a couple weeks ago. But some others, stuff like that. So it's mainly Hollow Stars, the males, a few here and there. It's not nearly as big as it was before. But yeah, Magni Vesper uh, stayed longer after the struggles were slowly disappearing. I wish they would have stayed longer. Yeah, some people wish they would have stayed longer. But, you know, you have to make your decision based on what is best for you, whether it works or not for the agency that you are a part of. Luckily, they both left on positive notes in the sense that they did not leave by being blacklisted. They did not do anything horrible, like do any NDA breaches or anything like that. They just had differences in opinion of where things were going to go and how much they wanted to get paid. And they, you know, moved on. This is a bit of a funny moment with Hololive. Hololive recently had a whole like court debate type thing between Team Coffee and Team T. Since, of course, now in the uh, Hollow Justice, that whole argument became a thing because cc likes tea i believe and raora likes coffee or the other way around i believe so um they had this argument now and they created a halloween civil war with uh shiori iris and ina being the arbitrators of the whole thing and they had of course yago who loves doing these things he loves appearing uh with his uh with his talents so there's also Could something perhaps interest you guys in a uh, team <laughs> <laughs> Team alcohol, most fun drink ever, team alcohol. You can you can have both 
Call the anti. That just is so true. That's that rigged. That is rigged. Wow. Wow. I just think he had wow. more votes overall. Oh, oh, Iris has a weapon. With five twice. corner, girls. Well, we don't need to win. It's all right. We know we're right, and that's all that matters. <laughs> <laughs> now, before we end, we actually have a very special uh, video. There was actually a fourth judge all along. Ooh. 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 Yes, and I would like to play this very special video for everyone in court and for all the jury as well. I hope you enjoy said video. Dozo. Yago! Yago! There's a bit of an echo. By the way, this is the video, not me. So this is an echo in the video. It's not me. <laughs> but it does keep you awake. Yes. Well, yeah, tea can relax you. Tea can relax you. It's time limited, though. But you wouldn't drink coffee in, in the, at night, though. You'd be too hyper to sleep. Really? Yeah. I drink coffee at 3 p.m. <laughs> That's why you can't sleep. <laughs> there was a coffee versus tea debate. I think it's very funny. Good. That's Yago, man. That's freaking Yago. What? <laughs> <laughs> that ended the debate! Yago, the goat, the freaking best girl, has ended the debate. What's great is Yago is that he's a leader of the biggest VTubing company in the world and he's consistently unable to have a good sound when he's part of the stream. That's very true. He never has good sound. He guides others to treasure he cannot possess. It's funny how salty NDF get when they see Yago is popular and well liked among the fans. How I've actually planned and worked to put human faces for the company staff, side, and Niji's copycat attempt to do the same with Tazumi was just extremely forced and cringy. That's the thing. They have done it grassroots. They have done it very well, very, very good PR. They have made sure it seemed didn't seem forced and made sure it came naturally uh, with Achan, Nodoka, other people popping up. They made it not seem forced. They made it was like, oh, it's just a natural thing, I guess. And then other companies try to do the same, like, you know, Stakana with Face Connect, others like that, showing, you know, that they are a human side to the, well, corporate CEO roughness that they have to have in order to be able to survive. Something new that is going to be happening on Hollow Life. Of course, Hollow Life, you all know that has had ARC before. ARC Survival Evolved is a big part of Hollow Life. At least it has become a big part of Hollow Life in their history. Aki Rose, Kiryu Koko, Choko, all these other people have done it. Now they're going to have a specific Hollow Life ARC server that is restrictive in the way that they do things. Here's Bekora herself explaining it in her in her stream here. They've been holding all our ARC server done plenty of times before, but they're doing it something different. They're doing the rules. Everyone lives together, so it's going to be a, a work along server. They're going to work together to defeat the dinosaur raids that come in at the same time each day. So they have to they have to live in the same area. They have to have only one base. It has a lot of different rules. That's this one. The map that they're gonna be doing is going to be this one, Valguero, which apparently has has uh it's it's a challenging map, it has underground, it has a lot of other things there. So they want something that everyone can enjoy. So they went and did that. They're using Valguero. The rules explanations are going to be one. The raids start from the second day. So the first day you, you get your, your chance to tame. You can tame three at a time, three max. You get a chance to tame, chance to build your base. And then the dinosaurs are going to be attacking the base itself. So you all need to be able to defend it properly. Uh, a raid will always happen at 10 p.m. according to them. There's going to be other things. Like, for example... Up to three tames per person, dead tames cannot be revived, so you cannot revive your tame. Once it is gone, it is gone. Uh, think carefully about which tames you want. Pretty much you're going to be min-maxing the thing, you're going to be maxing the best tame you can have. They're going to be... Um, they're not going to be able to use, like, it, it, you know, unlimited tames. Really, you, you can do any tames, even really strong tames, and if you can do that in a day, then damn, you're strong. Uh, mini events, there'll be four mini events. Uh, there'll be mini events starting on the fourth day. Participate to win great prizes. The mini events are going to be as follows, of course. Going to be uh, cavalry battle, uh, borrowed item taming competition, 
basically the cavalry battles while taming while uh, riding a tame grab your opponent and drop them in jail uh, and then the other one borrowed item taming win by the quickest to tame a specified dinosaur and each one will be getting um, a designated dinosaur it's going to be a, a specific dinosaur they're going to have tamed whether it be you know triceratops or whatever it ends up being find it tame it the quickest one to do it wins it's going to change daily uh there's going to be uh prizes it's not going to be like a simple prize where you get meat or something like that it's going to be large prizes uh like actual worthwhile prizes from what it looks like i don't know exactly how they're going to manage this but heck it's hollow life so who knows at the end of your stream write your dare write in your diary please write down what happened so it's those types of things going to be happening they're going to be allowing fan art which posting is arc fa clipping with the with the uh, hashtag of that arc the, they're mentioning that we may use these things for planning and distribution so knowing that when it's being put out there that they can use it for you know some people are going to maybe use it for their thumbnails they're going to be using it for other things like that promotional material sometimes too but the people who do that always know do that knowing that 6 a.m hollow server news Every morning they're gonna have hollow server news about the the what's happening, the big things in the day, people that you know pat the the teams that died, the raids that were successful, unsuccessful, that type of thing. So it's gonna be very fun overall. Taking a look at another organization that is actually giving new outfits to you know actual people, not necessarily for their their anniversaries or anything like that, but they're they they are doing it for each. And Hollow Life is actually doing it for the anniversary because I think uh, Pekora and all of them have five year anniversaries at this point, and they all got their things. Um, you know, you have Flair, Noel, you have uh, on the bottom right a very cute Marine, and then you have Pekora having each of their outfits. Noel is like a devilish um, a nun with like a mace. It looks like that's that a mace. I don't know exactly what that is. Uh, Cute Nightwear, Cute Nightwear, Dark Souls, Boss Gijin, God, God, I love the God of Life. Man, I love fantasy. Does that work? Yeah, it is fantasy, so that's why they have that. But let's take a look closer at um, Marine and all the different little things she has. She has her onesie type of thing. She has, you know, her little um, cute Kuma type of um, sweater. And then you have, uh, you know, with the with the hoodie down, you have the, the cute Nightwear type of thing. She looks very cute. She has short hair, long hair. All looks very cute. Her ear wear as well looks very, very nice. And just showing you a little bit of what can actually happen when a company gives a damn about their talents. V Sensei from Brave Group's V4 Mirai. Brave Group, you know, is like the investment group that pretty much collects VTuber agencies like playing cards. But still, I digress. They'll be getting a 3D debut. Who is uh, V Sensei? V Sensei is Professor V Sensei, Magical School talent manager events social media camera woman and before shenanigans so she they she's a talent manager for them she has her own vtuber avatar as you can see here from march 17th haven't seen you around campus before welcome to my office hope you drop by every so often it makes a day much brighter the reference sheet and they're having their 3d debut on july 27th saturday and july 28th sunday depending on where you are 28th sunday is gst and pretty much southeast asia uh, July 27th is um, PST, EST, and the areas that are still in that uh, day, you know? We do want Boomer Mom decor, but with VTubers. For example, a little Bless This Mess sign featuring your VTuber. Your favorite VTuber could really turn any space into a home. Very true. Very true. <laughs> Bless This Mess as in the VTuber is a mess. That's hilarious. I love the, the, um, the sense of humor that this person has. Good luck, V. Oh my God, Hype from Globy, which is another one. Globy is another agency that is that is under the umbrella of Brave Group. 3D Sensei, let's go. We can finally get the Alias V versus V Sensei match. Can't wait. Uh, whoa, that's news right there. It's good news. It's very good news. And of course, let's see how people are reacting. Sisters don't look. In all seriousness, I'm so happy V Sensei. She's going to look so cute. Good for her because it's taking about talking about V4. And I said, if anyone knows Abby's reincarnation or PL, would be thankful. Brazilian here, Abby didn't reincarnate. All evidence points to her quitting VTubing to become a stand-up comedian. If you remember correctly, yes, she did say that. That she was going to be a stand-up comedian. That she got a, a opportunity of a lifetime that didn't involve VTubing. I don't keep up with V4 Mirai, so I don't know much behind the talent. But good on her for getting a 3D model. Yes, I'm very glad that V4 Mirai is doing doing much better than, than Nidhi Sanji in getting their talents a freaking 3D model. Even their talent manager slash VTuber is getting a 3D model as well. How crazy is that? Welcome everybody to another installment of the VTuber Showcase. We are doing Bob Plays Games. 
Bob is a he him VTuber, of course. They are not a full-time content creator. They probably have a you know part-time job or a full-time job. A lot of people do. This becomes a hobby before it actually becomes, you know, money making at some point. They're not a YouTuber. Uh, they don't really uh do any uh shorts, it looks like. They don't have any kind of short form content um when looking at the YouTube channel. So they do long form and um they've been playing other ones, Mountain Blade, Warband, Cyberpunk, Elden Ring. And they're starting their journey with Elden Ring. So that's going to be an interesting one. They say their name is Bob and I like to play games. I'm a gaming content creator that streams YouTube and I play a variety of games. So they're primarily gaming content. Of course, whenever you do gaming content, you also do just chatting as a part of it. Because you have to chat with your community or else uh, no one's going to watch. Uh, they primarily are on YouTube. They try to post a schedule every week on Twitter and on YouTube. So if you want to take a look at their, their uh, schedule, they do post it there. Let me see if I can find one for you. Um, they, they seem to be trying to stream at least every day or so uh they have monday no stream thursdays you know tuesday friday wednesday they have certain ones and they do have a stream uh schedule put out in the beginning of the week so you can take a look at that they are using uh the vtuber thing to kind of play a backlog of their games and they're just a fan of vtubing in general and want to be a part of the community welcome to the community and i hope that you are able to collab with more people and i hope that this little showcase is able to help you grow the community that you have they're willing to collab with people if they mesh well. Uh, no big projects planned except, you know, you know, playing their games. They want to continue growing and enjoy streaming. Nothing major for now, of course, but being able to go full time would be cool. It is always cool to be able to go full time. It is always cool to be able to have a little bit of extra income on the side when you're doing things. It does take a lot of time. It takes a lot of effort. It takes a lot of luck, too. You just have to be at the right place at the right time a lot of times, especially when it comes to uh, gaming. And let's take a look a little bit at what they have. It's their intro. That's their VTuber model. It's a nice looking VTuber model, to be honest with you. No. Nope. That's their voice. So yeah, they were doing Mountain Blade. They're doing things like that. Thank you so much for being a part of the VTuber Showcase. And like I said, I hope this little spotlight that I put on you helps you grow and it brings uh, some eyes onto you and helps you uh, reach your goal. All for right now, of course, comment, like, and subscribe down below. Thank you for being here. Of course, I love having the conversations with you guys. I love having these things with you guys. And I do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment. Take a look at my description for my socials. There's a Discord, there's Twitter, there's other places that you can check me out, Twitch, etc. And also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy. Thank you.